Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Erica and sis, I hope you are ready to learn something. Because today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I cream contour and powder contour. And this video is honestly not gonna be that long because it, that is all it focuses on. Um, but I do wanna mention what I'm wearing on my eyes because this palette honestly deserves it. And that is the Aha uh -huh Honey ColourPop, yeah, ColourPop palette. Um, so these are, I used this shimmer. Is that even a shimmer? I think it's a pressed pressed pigment. Uh, this shimmer and then this yellow right here. And honestly, this yellow is popping. Um, aside from that, I used the Sweet Top palette and I just used one shade because I wanted the brown to stand out a little more being that the brown in here is not that dark. And I used this one. So with that being said, let's roll right into this video. All right, babes. So as you guys can see, today's video is gonna be how I contour. So I went ahead, did my eyebrows, my eyes, the whole shebang on the eyes part. And now I'm gonna be filming how I contour. However, I wanted to show you guys how I go about foundation and all of that. I want you guys to be like, I don't know what foundation you did and etc. Although I do wanna mention that I did already prep my skin. I did use my serum, my sunblock, my moisturizer, and all of the above. But um, yeah, so I don't wanna be talking too long and I have not done my hair, I just kinda of clipped it back, so don't judge. And let's get with it. So I'm gonna be using obviously my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And you guys know that this is my favorite and my go-to. I spilled some, but I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. Um, like I was telling you guys the other day on Instagram, I was running out of the one of the shades. I'm not even gonna go into detail to which one it is. The point is I ran out of one. And I mean, you know when it stops pumping, but you know there's still product in there. You don't wanna waste it, right? I don't wanna waste it because this thing's expensive. So I just like take a brush and I pick it up. And I know you guys are like, why don't you just use the little wand? Well, I kind of broke that. So I'm forced to use a brush like this to scoop some of it out. And I've gotten a lot of uses after I've been doing this with a brush. Um, so imagine if I would have thrown it away, like that was a lot of product I would have wasted. So if your pump ever stops, um, pumping out foundation, don't throw it away. Um, just like you open it up and use the little, um, what is it? The little tube, you know, to put it on your face. But if you break it like I did, just stick a brush in there. Um, if you're a makeup artist, I'm sure you guys have a spatula. Just use your spatula and scoop it out. I do have one, but I'm too lazy to get in, so I just grab a brush and I'm like, oh, whatever, it is what it is. Of course, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Shack Beauty Sponge, and I picked up some of M1, and now I'm gonna bounce that on. And I've mentioned this before, I always use the bottom, if you guys have the original Makeup Shack Beauty Sponge, I use the bottom being that the bottom is, um, more it's bigger and it's rounder compared to the tip the tip i use that for concealer and i'll show you guys with the contouring so and i like that i do that you know what i'm gonna just wait till i get to contouring to explain because you're gonna be like girl i don't know what the hell you mean i'll explain once we get there all right guys so i just want to mention real quick that if you guys did hear a noise in the background it was my air so i turned it off because last time i realized it's kind of loud however i already had turned it off when i was filming so no one actually heard it but i was like oh my god you guys are gonna hear it for the first part of this video and i'm sorry um so now that my foundation is on i'm gonna go ahead and get to the contouring part of this so for contouring, I like to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. And I do my contouring first, and then I do the highlighting part of contouring and highlighting. So let me just tuck my hair back real quick, because this thing will get in the way. Um, so I know you guys are like, why do you do that? I feel like it's easier to do a contour first than a highlight, because I don't know if you guys ever done highlighting first, and then you go on with contouring, but you go too far with the contour, and you're just like, oh my God, now I gotta pick up my concealer again. Yeah, I do it the other way to avoid making that mistake. So let me just squeeze some of this. And I just start at the top of my ear, bring it down. I brought that too far down, don't don't bring it that far down. Um, and I kind of just lay it around my seam. Honestly, I don't do it like, this line has to be specifically right here and this one has to be specifically right here. No, don't worry about getting them on an exact point, you're fine. Um, and then I come on this side and I do the same 
thing. Now, if you guys are wondering, why did you say don't bring it so far down? So, I don't know if you guys ever, know, ever noticed. You can tell when someone brings their contour too far in when their face kind of looks like sucked in and it's like, yeah, don't do that. So, to avoid that, just go halfway. More like on this side. This side, I kind of, you know, brought that a little too far in. But that's why I do that. And then I guess like, shouldn't it be even so that the contour looks even? Once you go in with the sponge, it just blends everything out to where, uh, honestly, it honestly does not matter. I mean, don't go crazy though and be like, I'm going to throw it over here because Erica said I can. No, I did not. Just, it doesn't have to be specifically aligned. And then I just go on my face. I go along, I mean my face, on my forehead. And then I do my nose a bit. Just like that. I kind of brought that one a little in, but it's okay. Like, you're not going to die. So don't stress. Now I'm going to take the sponge, again, the Makeup Shack sponge, and I'm going to use the tip, or not the tip, but this side of the sponge now. And I just go in and bounce it on. So you guys see how I start doing this? I do that so I can kind of just get on the cheekbone and not bring it too far down. And I know I had brought it in too, I mean, too far in earlier. So remember I said um, I used the bottom for foundation. There's still foundation left over, right? So I just go in and you kind of blend that out. You see how it goes away? Now let me just go touch up just one more time because just in case, you know, I covered up some of the concealer. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. And now we're going to do my forehead. And I always tell you guys, I always take my clips off so that I can really pull back my hair and apply that right on my hairline. So just like this. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna put my clip back on. Now for my nose, I do not go in with the beauty sponge because it is too big. So all I do is take a makeup shack brush. I have something in my mouth, sorry guys. And I'm using the makeup shack T44 and I'm just going to blend that out. So I just start by blending it directly into the front of my brow so it kind of looks like it flows, like a contour. How do I explain this? So a contour is kind of supposed to create a finish in your face, right? Um, and make things appear smaller. So it's kind of like a shadow if you think of it. So I run it along all the way to the front of my nose. So to kind of, I mean the front of my nose, I'm sorry guys, front of my brow, so it can kind of imitate a shadow. Just because you're like, why are you doing that? Well, that's why I'm doing it. And I do it to both sides. Like I said, don't worry if you brought it too far in like I did because we are still going to go in with the highlighting concealer. So you are fine. And we just close up the bottom of our nose and then we run a line right here. And I've mentioned this before. I am not the best at contouring, but I mean contouring my nose, but I like the way I contour my nose. So if you don't like it and you can do better, good for you. And I don't mean that in a rude way, but good for you because I cannot do it like that. I'm going to be using the Moira concealers in the shade 100 and 1.75. And I'm going to go in with 100, I mean 1.75 first. And I just go in like this. I'm starting to run out of this one. I honestly use this one the most because I really like the formula. If you're looking for a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, I would say this is a dupe. Um, it's it has a full coverage. Um, honestly, it's like the same as the the Tarte Shape Tape, but cheaper. I still have something on my mouth, but cheaper because Tarte Shape Tape I believe is twenty eight dollars. This one is ten dollars. Some people have said that this one dries up quick. I've never had that issue, and I feel like it's because I kind of work with products quick. So if you like to take your time, I would just suggest don't take your time and blend it out quick. But aside from that, I've, I've never had an issue. Um, but I know my students, students have mentioned that sometimes some of them like take too long and it um, dries up a bit. But aside from that, I've never had an issue or they've never had an issue. And I'm just gonna run a little line right there, just like that. Now I'm gonna take the other shade, which is 100 and just go over that just a little bit. This one is a little lighter, but it's too light for me to be using it on its own. So that is why I don't use it on its own. But kind of just to brighten up the shade 1.75. I said 1.75 so quick. 
Sorry guys, just like that. Now I take the Makeup Shop Beauty Sponge again and I don't use the side that I used the um, concealer for contouring. I use the other side that's clean. That way I don't mix the two. And I just go right in. What I like about this specific sponge is that the fact that it has like a bigger end and then you know it kind of comes up like a pear because of the fact that I use it for contouring, I mean for foundation and then I'll use it for like my concealer and um, the concealer to contour. So I feel like it's perfect. If you guys are like, what makes you like that sponge? That is what makes me like the sponge. When I come to the top, I just use the tip of the sponge and I bounce it around. So see how I kind of went a little far down? I just flip the sponge to the other side and blend that out. And do the same thing over here. So now I'm gonna use the sponge once more and go in. I'm pinching the sponge, by the way, and I go in on my nose. And I, touch, I take the brush once more, I mean, and I kind of just touch up to make sure I didn't cover it up too much. So now I'm gonna be setting my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm just gonna set some of this on my palette. And I just start going in and I literally apply that all over my face, but I first go in on my under eyes to make sure that that does not crease up, being that that is where I usually crease. And then I start, like I said, going everywhere else. And I kind of let that little layer sit there for, um, during the meantime, I mean, that I'm going around my face. And then I kind of just go back to it and I make sure I blend it out. And by blend it out, I mean, I just take the sponge again. Oh my God, this little hair is like sticking. Um, I take the sponge again and I just keep bouncing it on my face until it disappears. Okay, so I just showed you guys how to cream contour. So cream contour means you use something that is liquid cream or whatever. That is called a cream contour. I like to do a cream contour and then a powder contour on top just to emphasize it a little more. And because, I don't know, I always like to use bronzers and stuff. Um, but I'm going to be using the Silhouette Contour Palette from the Makeup Shop. In itself, it says Contour Palette. So, you know, hint, hint. But I'm going to be using the shades Bronze and Sunkiss. And like I said, this is, is this is now, I mean, a powder contour. Just, just so you guys know, you know the difference that there are two ways of contouring. If you want something emphasized, I would say use both. If you want something a little more just defined, do a cream. If you want a contour but not too much, then do powder. Um, but like I said, when I do want it a little more defined, I mean... Not too defining because I'm not the type of person to cut it right here and, you know, cut my nose. And by cut, I mean going with powder and make it a little sharp. That's not what I mean. I just want it a little to stand out a little more. That's when I do both. I hope I did not confuse you guys. And if I did, I'm sorry. But I didn't mean to. So now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Shop T21 and pick up both of those shades. And just go right on top of wherever I placed the contour. And I always go away, 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 away from the face. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't do the circles inwards like this. So to not bring it in. So remember when I was saying with the contour, um, the cream contour, I mean, to not bring it so far down so that you don't look sucked up. Like, so to avoid that, I go outward. There's a reason. There's a reason, guys, that I do certain things. It's just certain things. Because sometimes I just be doing shit just because. And I know you guys probably noticed that I didn't go down on my neck. So usually when I'm doing both, I go in with a powder, whatever's left over on a brush and just go down to my neck. <coughs> Sorry guys, I lost my breath. Um, I just go down to my neck with whatever's left over. I don't pick it up and go straight in. Um, the reason being is sometimes, not sometimes, but one day I did that and I went with the dark shade and I went in so dark that it was like, I looked ridiculous. So ever since I don't do it and I just think it's, you know, you get the result, but it's, it looks better if you just go in with whatever's left over your brush, your broom, your brush and, um, versus going in with a bunch of product and then be like, Oh, I don't know it too much. 
So that is why I just go in with whatever is left over. And I just picked up some product, so let me remove it by applying it on my face. And then I just go in. All right, so with that same Makeup Shop T44 brush that I used on my nose, I'm gonna use it again with the same two shades and just go back in on my nose. See how that was a lot? Make sure you don't pick up too much. I'm sure you guys are like, Erica, are you really gonna leave your nose like that? No, I'm not, I'm gonna blend it out right now. But just let it be there, let it be. And basically I do the same thing again. So just like that, I do the same thing that I did with the cream contour with the powder. And if you ever feel that for whatever reason you went in too dark on your nose, take some translucent powder or no color powder like myself and take your sponge, pick it up and just go over your nose. And it somewhat takes the harshness away of the contour. Does that make sense? I don't know if I explained that right. I hope it made sense. Now, to brighten up the center of my nose, I take this other contour palette and the shade Light, and I take that, let me get the brush. Like I was saying, I take that on a Makeup Shack T65, and I just go right in. And I kind of just press it like that, and then I go in with my fingers. Just on the tip, not on the rest. And then for the rest, I just use the brush. All right guys, so that is how I cream contour and powder contour. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, babe, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So once again, I didn't wanna make a really long video. I just wanted to get right to the point because I did notice I was kind of making long ones and I enjoy watching long videos. So that's why I kind of didn't mind it. But just in case, sometimes you're like, girl, I just wanna see what I'm here to see, whether it's the eye look, the face, the products, whatever it is. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just start making some videos where I get right to the point. And so with that being said, this does conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If for whatever reason you did not understand anything, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. So um, I'll, uh, uh, hold up. If you have not followed me on Instagram, please do so. I'll be linking it right here or putting my at and then linking it down below. Um, please subscribe, turn on your post notifications and now I can say I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.